Until Starship can fly regularly, the king of rockets will still be SpaceX's three-headed monster, Falcon Heavy. With powerful thrust and high reliability, Falcon Heavy is SpaceX's most impressive achievement to date. However, there is a big problem with this king. The launch intensity is very sparse. You can say that in 2023, Falcon Heavy worked extremely well with five successful launches. Yes, that's not wrong. But compared to the 91 launches of the Falcon 9, that's nothing. Why does Falcon Heavy launch so little? As we approach the development year 2024, what will the demand for Falcon Heavy be? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Nearly six years have passed since the giant Falcon Heavy rocket successfully launched for the first time in February 2018. However, since then, the heavy lift rocket has only flown a total of nine times. Why has this happened? Firstly, a noticeable lack of demand played a pivotal role in its inactivity. The shortage of large satellites has hindered Falcon Heavy launches. While Falcon Heavy is relatively affordable compared to other heavy lift launch vehicles, the lack of demand for large satellites still makes Falcon Heavy an expensive choice. Purchasing a position on the rocket becomes costly unless you plan to fill most of the space and weight requirements. If you have a smaller satellite, ultimately you may opt for a different rocket or launch platform to save costs. The second is the resounding success of Falcon 9, SpaceX's workhorse, which further contributed to Falcon Heavy's subdued phase. What happened with Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy after the development of Falcon 9 is that SpaceX worked to enhance and increase the performance of their launch vehicles. SpaceX succeeded to the extent that Falcon 9 became much more powerful than anticipated. It became so powerful that many missions initially planned for Falcon Heavy were eventually transferred to Falcon 9. When SpaceX was developing Falcon Heavy, they were not certain about the exact strength and efficiency of Falcon 9. This uncertainty ultimately led to the cancellation of many planned launches for Falcon Heavy, as companies could save money by opting for Falcon 9. Moreover, delays at a slow pace are due to a lack of payload readiness for new rockets, especially from the United States Department of Defense. Issues with satellites such as the payload problems that impacted the USS F-44 mission, which was initially scheduled to launch at the end of 2020, but it took over two years before it could be on the rocket. NASA's Psyche asteroid mission is another example. Psyche, which will visit a unique metal-rich space rock named after itself, was planned to launch a top Falcon Heavy in the fall of 2022, but it wasn't until October 2023 that it could finally take flight. Last but not least, what prevents Falcon Heavy from launching and developing further is SpaceX's focus on Starship. During the development phase of Falcon Heavy, SpaceX found itself in a challenging position. The company was uncertain about the exact future trajectory. While they had ambitious plans for Starship, knowing they wanted a rocket more powerful than Falcon 9, SpaceX began developing Falcon Heavy with the Starship in mind. By the time Falcon Heavy was nearly completed and ready for launch, Starship had become the primary focus of SpaceX. Starship was also predicted to be larger, significantly more powerful, and considerably cheaper than Falcon Heavy. This meant that the majority of the work would be directed toward developing Starship rather than Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy was ready but needed updates to enhance its capabilities. However, these updates were either delayed or not implemented as the focus shifted to Starship. The Falcon Heavy development process also took longer than expected, adding complexity and putting SpaceX in a challenging position with the various launch vehicles they were exploring. Although eventually Starship will render Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy obsolete, it'll take some time for the transition to occur. Therefore, Falcon Heavy has had relatively few launches, primarily due to the overarching focus on Starship development. However, despite this, Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's powerful launch vehicle, continues to assert its dominance as king in the fiercely competitive space launch industry. Even with the emergence of NASA's space launch system and SpaceX's super rocket Starship, Falcon Heavy remains the most potent active commercial rockets globally, capable of transporting nearly 64 tons, over 140,000 pounds of cargo to low Earth orbit. This capacity can be achieved when SpaceX utilizes all three booster rockets in the initial stage of the launch. While recovering the side boosters diminishes Falcon Heavy's payload capacity, SpaceX's heavy lift machine still surpasses any other currently available rocket from NASA. New rockets such as United Launch Alliance's Vulcan and Blue Origin's New Glenn may approach Falcon Heavy's lifting capacity, but New Glenn's yet to be proven, and Vulcan has only launched once, requiring at least two successful flights before qualifying for NASA's most crucial scientific payloads. Earlier last year, NASA engineers formally certified the Falcon Heavy rocket to launch the agency's most expensive robotic missions. 
This level of certification is known as Category 3 in NASA parlance, requiring a minimum of three successful flights of a common launch vehicle configuration, in addition to deep insight by NASA engineers into a rocket's design and a launch contractor's quality control processes. Besides, with the retirement of ULA's Atlas V and Delta IV and the scale of their remaining inventory to other customers, SpaceX has become the sole option for launching many of NASA's scientific missions. Additionally, Falcon Heavy is also the preferred choice for the military. In 2020, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy secured a significant 40% stake in Phase 2 of the National Security Space Launch NSSL contracts, further solidifying its role as serving national security interests. These contracts, which encompass various missions and deployments for national security purposes, represented a significant portion of the space launch market. Falcon Heavy's considerable share in these contracts not only bolstered its financial standing, but also emphasized its strategic importance in serving critical national security needs. To be honest, the total of nine launches by Falcon Heavy is extremely low compared to Falcon 9, but it's made progress over time. In the first five years, Falcon Heavy only managed a mere four launches. In 2023, Falcon Heavy exploded back into the field of space exploration with unprecedented vigor. It executed a series of five highly successful launches, surpassing the total number of its launches from previous years combined. This resurgence marked a turning point for the mighty SpaceX rocket, setting the stage for an exciting trajectory in the years to come. The year 2024 is poised to be a pivotal chapter for Falcon Heavy, with a meticulously planned launch schedule. Among the scheduled launches, the deployment of the geostationary geo-weather satellite stands out as a testament to Falcon Heavy's versatility in handling critical Earth observation missions. Following closely, the Europa Clipper mission, slated for October 2024, promises to be a groundbreaking venture. This mission, awarded to SpaceX by NASA, underscores Falcon Heavy's role in advancing scientific exploration as it embarks on a journey to conduct a detailed survey of Jupiter's moon Europa in the quest for signs of potential life. A particularly noteworthy endeavor is the joint lunar lander mission set for November 2024, a collaborative effort between SpaceX, NASA, and Astrobotic. This mission holds promise for lunar exploration, encapsulating the spirit of international collaboration in the pursuit of space exploration. Looking beyond 2024, Falcon Heavy has an impressive roster of missions on the horizon. In 2025, it is slated to launch the Power and Propulsion Element PPE and HALO Gateway modules crucial components of NASA's Artemis program, emphasizing Falcon Heavy's integral role in supporting sustainable astronaut missions. Furthermore, the schedule is teeming with potential, with over 10 missions earmarked until 2029, highlighting the enduring significance of Falcon Heavy in shaping the future of space exploration. The recent flurry of activity and the robust schedule ahead paint a promising picture for Falcon Heavy, firmly reestablishing its role as a key player in the space launch industry. The planned missions not only showcase its adaptability for diverse payloads, but also underscores its pivotal role in advancing scientific discovery and exploration beyond Earth's confines. Not to mention Starship, SpaceX has been the only private company capable of achieving historical milestones that often only exist in the dreams of other competitors in the aerospace industry. Besides the technical marvel, Falcon 9 has set dozens of world records. Don't forget, it's Brother Falcon Heavy with many special capabilities and outstanding beautiful landings. But that's not all. What SpaceX did with Falcon Heavy shocked us more than we thought. Why is this a genius solution? It can be said that the Falcon 9 has been a crucial factor contributing to SpaceX's success within just a few years of rocket development. However, this does not mean that SpaceX has stopped there. After the success of the Falcon 9 rocket, SpaceX and Elon Musk reached an even greater milestone, the Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy represents a monumental leap forward in SpaceX's pursuit of space exploration and commercial satellite deployment. With its distinctive design, the rocket combines the power of three Falcon 9 first-stage boosters, elevating its lift capacity to nearly 64 metric tons to low Earth orbit. This rocket surpasses its competitors in every aspect. Falcon Heavy can send astronauts to the ISS, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The Falcon Heavy rocket is twice as powerful as any other rocket currently in use. This unprecedented capability makes Falcon Heavy a robust and versatile rocket capable of carrying payloads that were previously unimaginable. Its role in launching significant missions underscores its importance in the space industry. From deploying satellites for government agencies like the U.S. Department of Defense and NASA to serving commercial customers with large payloads, 
Falcon Heavy has become the go-to choice for missions requiring substantial lift capacity. Notably, its inaugural launch, which famously included sending a Tesla Roadster into space, captured the world's attention and solidified Falcon Heavy's status as a game-changer in space exploration. Since then, Falcon Heavy has been selected for various critical missions. Its ability to carry heavy payloads to space opens up new possibilities for scientific research, deep space exploration, and satellite deployment. Alongside the remarkable development of the Falcon rocket, we cannot overlook SpaceX's key to success, reusability. SpaceX's innovative approach to rocket design, centered around reusability, has emerged as a cornerstone of its success in the space industry. In traditional rocket models, each launch entails the construction of a new booster, resulting in exorbitant costs and logistical challenges. Once the mission's complete, the spent booster is typically discarded, contributing to the accumulation of space debris and further exacerbating the financial burden of space travel. In stark contrast, SpaceX's reusability approach focuses on recovering and refurbishing the first-stage boosters of its Falcon 9 rockets and Falcon Heavy, enabling them to be launched multiple times. The economic implications of this reusability cannot be overstated. By significantly reducing the pre-launch costs, SpaceX has democratized access to space, making it more accessible to governments, private companies, and research institutions alike. Estimates suggest that reusing a Falcon 9 booster can save between 30 and 40% per launch compared to the cost of building a new booster. This translates into substantial cost savings, potentially ranging from millions to tens of millions of dollars per launch. Moreover, the reusability of SpaceX's rockets has unlocked new possibilities for increasing launch frequency. Traditional rocket models face inherent limitations in terms of production and turnaround time, as the construction of new boosters is a time-consuming and resource-intensive process. In contrast, SpaceX's ability to rapidly refurbish and relaunch its boosters has significantly shortened the turnaround time between missions. Specifically, Falcon Heavy can be partially reusable. The side boosters can easily fly back to the launch pad and be reused. As for the center core, which travels much farther and cannot feasibly return to the launch pad, it can land on a drone ship at sea and be reused. Essentially, Falcon Heavy serves two primary use cases compared to Falcon 9. One, payloads that are heavy, leveraging Falcon Heavy's increased power. Two, payloads destined for high-energy orbits, capitalizing on Falcon Heavy's ability to achieve higher speeds. In the case at hand, the latter scenario applies. While the payload may not be exceptionally heavy, Falcon Heavy's task with delivering it to geosynchronous orbit, GEO, requiring significant velocity from both the first and second stages. Consequently, the center core of Falcon Heavy's propelled to speeds roughly twice as fast as a standard Falcon 9 booster at stage separation. This presents a formidable challenge for recovery. The increased velocity necessitates more fuel preservation for the re-entry burn to mitigate intense heating during descent. However, allocating more fuel for landing reduces the amount available for accelerating the payload, potentially impacting mission success. Basically, there's a narrow window of flight profiles where a full reuse Falcon Heavy is useful. E.g., it worked for the Arab set because the Falcon only needed to send that to GTO, not to GTO. But for a directed GTO mission like USS F-44, full recovery just isn't worth the effort. The second stage cannot be reused. It'll always be expended. However, they still attempt to recover the most expensive part, which is the fairing, an essential component of any rocket launch. Initially, fairing recovery posed significant technical hurdles. These large clamshell-like structures protect payloads during ascent through Earth's atmosphere. But once they've fulfilled their purpose, they become expendable debris, contributing to the high cost of space missions. SpaceX's early attempts at fairing recovery involved using ships equipped with large nets to catch the fairings as they descended under parachutes. However, the unpredictable nature of ocean landings and the difficulty of catching fairings mid-air led to mixed results. In response to these challenges, SpaceX pivoted its approach to fairing recovery, opted for a method that proved to be more reliable and cost-effective, allowing fairings to splash down in the ocean and then retrieving them. This approach, while seemingly less glamorous, offers greater predictability and reduces the risk of damage to sensitive equipment. Fairings are designed to be waterproof and undergo a thorough refurbishment process upon retrieval, including cleaning, inspection for damage, and component replacement as necessary. The cost-effectiveness and reliability of fairing recovery are central to SpaceX's mission of driving down the cost of space access. With fairings representing a significant portion of launch costs, each fairing can cost around $6 million, 
achieving reusability in this component is paramount. By refurbishing fairings for reuse, SpaceX can realize substantial cost savings, further bolstering its competitive edge in the space industry. Moreover, the reliability of fairing recovery contributes to mission success and customer confidence. When the company successfully recovers and refurbishes fairings, SpaceX demonstrates its ability to provide reliable and cost-effective launch services. This reliability is crucial for securing contracts from both government and commercial customers, solidifying SpaceX's position as a leader in the space market. But frankly speaking, SpaceX will only go along with the Falcon family for a while because ever since they started working on the Starship project, Elon Musk has shown us a future where Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy become obsolete. At its core, Starship embodies SpaceX's vision of creating a fully reusable spacecraft capable of carrying out a diverse range of missions, from lunar and Mars exploration to interplanetary travel and satellite deployment. The centerpiece of Starship's revolutionary design is its full reusability, unlike the partial reusability of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, and entirely opposite to traditional spacecraft models. A key component of Starship's reusability is its innovative propulsion system, powered by methane-based Raptor engines. Unlike traditional rocket engines, which typically use liquid oxygen and a hydrocarbon fuel such as kerosene, Raptor engines utilize methane as fuel, offering several advantages. Methane is abundant and can potentially be synthesized from resources available on other celestial bodies such as Mars. Additionally, methane combustion produces fewer greenhouse gas emissions compared to traditional rocket fuels, making it a more environmentally friendly option for space travel. The Raptor engines also feature a revolutionary engine cycle known as full-float stage combustion, which maximizes efficiency and performance. In this complex process, both the fuel and oxidizer are fully gasified before being combusted in the engine, allowing for greater thrust and propellant efficiency compared to traditional rocket engines. This innovative engine design represents a significant leap forward in rocket propulsion technology and serves as a cornerstone of Starship's capabilities. With its full reusability and advanced propulsion system, Starship is poised to revolutionize space exploration operations in the decades to come. Once Starship enters regular service, the future of space exploration has never looked more promising. However, regardless of the promising future, achieving this will still require a considerable amount of time. So SpaceX still needs to develop two rocket programs in parallel. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.